had trouble breathing, our pediatrician sent us to Dr. Vaccaro. And what did he tell you? He said that it was bad, but that there were some doctors somewhere doing experiments with stem cells. He said their results were promising. In other words, he gave you hope. That was enough. There was no hope. Drew was already dead. He couldn't see or hear or breathe or think. That is dead. I'm terribly sorry for your loss, Mrs. Householder. Then why are you doing this? Because the law says I must. Do you recognize this document, Mrs. Householder? Looks like a report from Dr. Mitchell. She was my OBGYN. Please read the highlighted portion. The patient has been informed of both the likelihood that her child might develop MDDS and the consequences thereof. Please continue reading, Mrs. Householder. In spite of being so informed, the patient has refused to end the pregnancy. In other words, you knew your child would have MDDS, and yet you still refused to have an abortion. Yes. Why? I couldn't. Couldn't what? I couldn't kill my baby. Because that would be wrong? Yes. So it was wrong to kill Drew when you were five months pregnant, but it's okay to kill him 10 months after he was born. Is that what you're saying? 